Hi, my name is Lisa Weinberger. And I am Mirella Portnoy. We're so glad you're joining us this afternoon for the first play date with PJ. You might be wondering what am I doing here in my tent in my living room? Well, that's a good question. I'm actually getting ready to celebrate to celebrate Lagbaomer. Did you ask what is Lagbaomer? That's a great question. Lagbaomer is the 33rd date of the Omer. But that answer probably doesn't help you, right? That's one of the, those answers that grown-ups give you that leave you as just as confused as you were before you asked it. So let's put it in another way. I bet when you get excited about something, you like to count down the days until it happens. Like when you are looking forward to your birthday or a special family adventure. The Omer is a way of counting down to a big event too. Every year, there are people who count down the days from the beginning of Passover until Shavuot. In this case, the big event is the holiday of Shavuot, which is coming up in the end of May. Not only do we like to count as a community, but we also like to remember things. Some things we like to remember because they were happy events and other things we remember because they made us really sad. Lagba Omer is actually a combination of both happy and sad. Lots of sad things happen during the Omer and to remember that, some people don't like to cut their hair or listen to music or even buy new clothes. But on Lagba Omer, the bad things stop happening and we like to celebrate and remember that too. So we do fun things on Lagba Omer, like have outdoor parties, hang out in our, in our tents, build bonfires, play outdoor games like archery and eat fun foods like s'mores and roasted marshmallows. Special for this year, we are bringing the fun indoors. Today, we are learning how to make a tent our own mini indoor bonfire and oven s'mores. And we might even have a special visitor surprise at the end. Thanks for explaining that, Morella. Did you know that you can make a tent just like Morella and I are sitting in at your own home? It's super easy. Everybody kind of brings their own way to doing it, but what you, what the basics that you need are a few sturdy chairs. So you can see in the background here, Morella and I both have a few sturdy chairs, right? Um, a sheet or a tablecloth. So it looks like Morella used a tablecloth. Maybe I'm, yes, you used a tablecloth. So what we did in our house is we used a fitted sheet, one of those kind of weird looking sheets that goes on the bottom of your bed and has those rounded corners with elastic. And we did that because they stay on the chairs really well. They fit the chairs just like they fit the corner of your bed. Um, something else we did that's a little different than Morella is, is we wanted to make our tent a little higher, almost like a real camping tent. And so we took a laundry basket, you can kind of see it in the corner over here, and we attached a big pole to it. So we have, it looks almost like a circus big top at the top of my tent. So you could try that at home too. You could try taping your sheets, you could tie tying your sheets, there's all kinds of ways to do it. Um, the really great thing about your tent is not only do you have to have yourself in your tent, but you can bring other people too. You can see that on my floor, I put a nice blanket and I also brought one of my friends. This is my special owl. It's keeping me company in the tent. I even brought a nice comfy pillow that I could hug or that I can lean back on to get more comfortable. So you can do the same thing with your tent. You can create it, and then you can bring along some of your friends to enjoy it with you. And you can maybe even bring some of your brothers and sisters um, if you want to. That would be nice as well. Or maybe even your mom or dad would be willing to join you in your tent. So that is our tent. Um, so as Morella said, today we're talking about celebrating the holiday of Lagba Omer. And as she mentioned, one of the things that's special about Lagba Omer is making a bonfire. So this is our bonfire. Um, now, as you can imagine, normally when you make a fire, when your parents make a fire, they do it outside. But right now, because we're not allowed to have big parties outside and probably most of you don't have the capability of making a bonfire in your backyard. That's one of those, don't try it at home. Don't try to make a bonfire in your backyard. Um, we are making our own arts and crafts bonfire today. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, and we're gonna start it together. 
Um, if you don't have all the materials with you, or you don't have time to finish it today, you can always check out the video of this afterwards. It's gonna be posted on the PJ Library webpage and on the PJ Library Facebook page, and you'll be able to see and review how it is that we made the fire. But first, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got together in order to make the fire. So I have a few different types of tubes. You could use a toilet bowl, uh, toilet paper tube. This was actually a tube from a paper towel uh, that I cut into pieces. Um, this was a tube from gift wrap that I cut into pieces. And if you have no cardboard tubes at home, you can also just take a piece of paper um, this is tissue paper, but you can roll a piece of construction paper or white computer paper, roll it in a circle like this, take a piece of tape and tape it together um, and make it that way. And those are going to be your logs. So you need about, depending on how big you want your fire to be, you need at least three to about five or six, some kind of rolls, either pre-made rolls uh, that you normally would have wanted to recycling or paper and tape to make the rolls. Um, you will need some tissue paper. Um, we here, we have red, yellow, and orange tissue paper. You can also use construction paper. If you don't have tissue paper or construction paper at home, you can also use regular paper and you can color it. Now, normally fires are red, yellow, and orange, but feel free to be creative. You could really make your fire whatever color you feel comfortable with. So you don't have to be a traditionalist unless you want to. Um, and then you will need a paper plate. And then you will need, uh, we have some, some kind of drawing or coloring supplies. So we have markers and we also have paints. So it's space, really whatever you have, you could use crayons, you could use um, uh, pencil crayons, whatever supplies you have at home, uh, you can use those. So the first thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna actually gonna paint mine today, and I'm just gonna paint one of them to show you how it works. So I'm gonna take one of my rolls, and I'm going to dip my brush in the water. You can, if you're painting, you could use paint to do that. Um, if you're coloring, then you can use one of your coloring things. And um, if you're using paper towel rolls that are already brown, like this one, if you don't want to paint it, you don't have to. It's kind of up to you however you want it to look. So as you can see, I'm, I'm painting mine and it's, it's coming out kind of a nice brown gold color over here. So I'm not gonna paint the whole thing right now but just to give you an idea of how we would do it. Just like that. I'm gonna put a little more paint on it. And Make it feel almost like it's a real log. Um, you know, if you wanna be really creative or not, I know that not everybody likes arts and crafts. So if you wanted to be really creative, you know, you can make your logs out of Legos if you have brown Legos at home. Or if you live near a park, you could actually collect your own twigs just like you would if you are making a, a bonfire outside and you can bring those twigs inside and in place of using these cardboard tubes, you could actually use those as well if you wanted. So one of the things that I really like about this project is that there's so many different ways that you can do it and you can find some kind of way to do it that involves some type of activity that you enjoy. So whether it's collecting things from outside, whether it's making things with Lego, you can use all of those things as to create the logs for your fire. So once you've, now we've only painted one log, but once you've created your logs, you're gonna take your tissue paper and I'm just gonna tear a piece of it off. And I'm just gonna put it inside my, my tube here to the best of my ability. 
right? Almost so it's kind of sticking out a little bit, just like this. So I, so I, I took my tube, I took my tissue paper, and I stuck it inside, okay? And then I'm gonna take my plate. So I have my plate, I have my tube, and I am going to put it on, put it on here. I'm gonna start to stack it. Then I'm gonna take my other tube, I'm gonna stack it like this. I'm gonna take a third tube. I'm gonna take some more tissue paper. I started with yellow and since fires are really beautiful and they have all kinds of different colors in them, we're gonna use more than one color to create our fire. Um, and then I'm going to take a piece of tape, which I had right here to begin with, but I use this, this is duct tape. You don't actually need duct tape to do this. I also had masking tape with me, but that seems to have disappeared someplace. So I'm gonna take a piece of this, and I'm gonna tear it off. I'm gonna make a little circle, put it at the bottom of my plate, and I'm gonna use that as a base to start attaching, you can see, start attaching my fire logs to my plate. I'm gonna take two more pieces of tape and attach my two other logs to it. So you can see my tape and another piece of tape. And I'm gonna attach another log. And I'm gonna attach a third log. And then I'm gonna take some other paper. Then I'm gonna kind of hold them up, kind of like this. And I'm gonna, now that I've taped them to the bottom, I'm also gonna tape them together so they stay nicely. Just like that, you can see. And then I'm gonna take the rest of my tissue paper and I'm gonna add it in and you can tape it on as well to give it more of a fiery feel. So when you're done, it's gonna look a little bit like this or like the one I showed you at the beginning, like this one. And so while you're sitting in your tent with your friends and your pillow and maybe your siblings, you can put your fire right at the kind of right outside your tent because we would never put a fire in a tent, right? And we're trying to feel things like they would be normally. You can put your fire right outside your tent and maybe you can even rub your hands, pretend to feel the warmth of it, and think about how much fun it is to be outside in a tent with a campfire. Now, I don't know about you, but by the time I've built my tent and I've built my fire, I'm beginning to feel a little hungry, and I'm thinking that maybe it's time for a snack. So we're gonna have a special guest. She actually was busy right now. She couldn't come right now, but she made a special video for us, um, and she is gonna show us how to make s'mores right inside your kitchen. So I'm gonna pull that up. She's going to be with us in one minute. She's coming up. Here we go. Hi, my name is Naomi, and my favorite thing to do at the campfire is make s'mores. But this year, since we're having our campfire indoors, we're going to make oven s'mores. First, get your ingredients. A chocolate bar, marshmallows, graham crackers, and a tray. First, we're gonna take our graham crackers out. Put some on your tray. Now, 
we're gonna put a marshmallow or two on half of your graham crackers. On the other half, put a few pieces of chocolate. Now, we're gonna turn our oven to broil. We're gonna put our tray in the oven, but you might wanna get your parents' help. We're gonna wait for one to two minutes. Now that our s'mores are ready, we're gonna take them out of the oven. You might want to let them sit for a minute so they can cool down. Now that we're cool, we're going to take one of these with the marshmallow and one with the chocolate and stick them together. Press them really hard and then take a bite. Mmm, so good. Well, I hope you liked that little lesson on how to make s'mores with the Omi and that you'll have a chance to make s'mores to have a snack when you're sitting in your house as well or in your tent as well. Oh, wait, I think I heard a noise. I think there's somebody's come to visit us at our tent. I hear at my tent flap. Oh, I think it's Monica. Maybe she's come to sing some songs with us. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mirella. And hi, Naomi. I'm so happy to be with all of you today. Chag Sameach. I'm so ready, so ready to sing. Are we ready to sing? Yes. This song, it's a very special Lag Baomer song. And the name of the song, it's Adama Veshamayim. Earth, earth, and sky. So many special things in nature. Ready to sing with me? Here we go. Adama, Veshamai, Chomaesh, Slilamai, Animar, Giso, Begufi, Veruchi, Venishmati, together. Adama, Veshamai, Chomaesh, Let's go together and say, Hey, ya, 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 h
special light that we all have inside so I hope and I wish and I hope that you're singing with me this next song I'm sure you know that ready this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine here we go this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine together. Here we go. This little light of my eye, uh, uh, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of my eye, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, oh. I'm gonna let it shine, oh, 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 this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, it's like the warmer time, this is a happy moment, so we all sing together, darling, Melech Israel, hi, hi, Vega, ya, I'm starting Melech Israel, hi, hi, Vega, ya, I'm starting Melech Israel, hi, hi, Vega, ya, let's start, da, Abi, Melech Israel, hi, hi, Vega, ya, I'm starting Melech Israel, Hi, hi, Bakayam, the big melech is the hell. Hi, hi, Bakayam. David, melech is the hell. Here we go. Hi, hi, Bakayam. Hi, hi, Bakayam. And before I go and thank, of course, PJ Library and Lisa, Mirella, and Naomi for having me today so we can celebrate Lagba Omer in our special tents. Thank you for having me. I just want to sing one more song. How great it is that we can be all together. That we can be all together. Ready to sing with me? Here we go. It goes like this. I'm sure you're gonna recognize that song so I can hear you and I can feel you. Mm -hmm. 
So thank you for having me. Well, thank you, Monica. And thank you all for joining us today to get ready for Lag Valmer. We hope you will join us again next Thursday at 3 p.m. for another play date with PJ. Next week, we'll be making challah in a bag to celebrate Shabbat. And parents can check their emails at the beginning of next week to find their ingredients list, or they can also find it at the PJ Library Facebook page. And don't forget that you can use the same Zoom link that you used today to connect with us next week. Thank you all. Bye. <laughs>